Sean Porter. How you doing, champ? I'm doing good, man. You said get here at 715. Yeah. You want to get you out of here. No, 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 no. You've known Terrence since the amateurs. Uh, you've been friends. Tell me about that kid that you first met. Yep. Your mic's not on? You want to use mine? I'll use yours. Well, uh, the kid that I know is the same kid you see in the ring now. Uh, he's always been uh, an aggressive fighter. He's always going out there and laid it all on the line. He's very fast, very quick, and mean. And that's who I've known, known him to be. Everybody in the boxing game always knew Terrence to be mean in and out of the ring. It's hard to get to know, but you got through. You got through. Why was that? You know, and, and, and I think he knows this. Like, I have, there's something special about me. I'm a little different. And where other people weren't willing to, uh, befriend him because they just didn't want to get on his bad side or they didn't want to deal with anything. I always looked at it as, as an opportunity to to do what everybody else wouldn't do. And so I said, you know what? Hey, let's let's hang out. We would we would play ball at the Olympic Training Center. We would go to the mall together. You know, little little things. But it was enough for him and I, he, he and I, for us to have an effect on one another. That when 10, 15 years later, we still appreciated what we did, the times that we had when we were younger. Three years ago, he's fighting Benavidez. And you came to an inescapable conclusion watching that fight. What was that? Yeah, no, I literally was watching uh, Terrence Crawford versus uh, Benavidez, Jose Benavidez, alone. And I just slowly started to sit up because I could see first fight at 147 how well uh, Terrence Crawford was doing. Not that I, I was surprised, but something on my neck was tapping me. Saying, "Hey, you, you, uh, you can't escape this guy. This is this guy might you. You might have to get with this guy." And sure enough, uh, I just bought, bought my time and, and waited and did what I needed to do. And here we are. Give me that mic. Yeah, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> so, you so you told me yesterday, you know what makes him tick. You know what makes him uncomfortable. You know how to touch some nerves and get under his skin. What are those nerves, and how do you touch him? Terrence is a little bit like me in the sense that I don't, I don't like to be denied. I don't like for people to tell me what I can't do. And Terrence has always been that way. If you if you ever tell him, don't do this, don't do that, he's going to look at you, he's going to smack his lips, and he's going to do whatever he wants to do. In the ring with me, he's not going to have his way. He's not going to be able to be comfortable the way that everyone else has allowed him to be comfortable. And that's how you get him uncomfortable. That's how you get under his skin. You make the moves. You do all of the necessary things to make him feel like everything people are telling you, that you're not that good, that you that, that this is the big test. Now the test is coming, and we'll see what happens. You told me that, you told me that Terrence has never had to make mental or emotional adjustments during the fight. How are you going to get him to do that here? No, I, I, and I hold true to that. I, I do believe that nobody has forced him to get outside of his comfort zone, forced him to do anything other than what he wants to do. I, I, and I do. I think that he's a very uh, intellectual boxer. I think that he can, through the course of rounds, figure out what a guy does and take that away from him. And 37 times he's gotten his way. This is the one time he's not just going to be able to get his way. I have multiple uh, multiple uh, styles. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a lot in my arsenal, and he's going to see it all. He can come at you from both sides. He's got power, an extraordinary boxing IQ, yeah. and he's mean. What do you have that yeah. he doesn't? You know what? I think the word that I'm going to pull out that you just spit at me was extraordinary. I think there's some things that I do that are extraordinary. The pivots that I have, the speed that I have that, that comes with the power that I have, and the strength that I have. I think that that's a that's a combination alone itself. And then you add my boxing IQ. You add the fact that I don't want you to be comfortable in the ring, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make you uncomfortable. And you, we got a great fight on our hands, man. We great do have fight. a great fight on our hands. What's your biggest advantage here? You know what? Uh, I think his timing. I think he gets into a, a, a rhythm and a timing that, that fits him and what he likes to do. I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to disrupt that timing, but I think that my me winning this fight relies on me disrupting his timing. Keith Thurman, prime. Prime Danny yeah. Garcia. Yeah. Prime Errol Spence. Malinaji, prime Kell Brook. What have you learned 
in those fights? You know, every experience has got me to the next fight. Uh, there's things that I've gone through in Keith Thurman that really did show up in my fight mm -hmm. with Smith Jr. I mean, those, those two, almost three years apart, those two fights are, mm -hmm. you know. So getting into the ring with Terrence Crawford, I really do believe that I've seen it all. I've seen it all live. He has not seen anything like me in the moment when the heat is going, when the when the bullets, the, the gloves are flying. And that's when the adjustments need to be made. And we'll see what happens. I was surprised to hear you talk about knocking out <laughs> Terrence Croft. Do, why? Do, why? 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 Why be surprised? If, it, if any style. fighter, if any fighter could, they knock out everybody in 30 seconds. Every fight will last one minute. So yes, believe me when I when I say that I've been in the gym training to mm -hmm. knock out not just Terrence Crawford, but everyone but that I fought at the highest level is where it's very difficult to do. Mm -hmm. But if it can be done, I'm going to go out there and do everything that's required. Do you believe there's a high likelihood? That you knock out Terrence Crawford, or are you touching those nerves you think you know? No, I'm not touching nerves. I'm not saying anything just that it gets back to him and he says, oh, Sean Porter thinks he's going to knock me out. I don't even think that that would touch a nerve with him. But he, he knows that I'm a real speaker. He knows that mm -hmm. everything that I mm -hmm. say is real. I'm not going to talk stuff to Terrence. It's, he knows that that's not real. It's not who I am. Your legacy depends on this fight? Absolutely. My legacy depends on this fight because, as I told you, I've been at the top. I've been in some Super Bowls. I've won... A couple, maybe, mm -hmm. but I haven't won the biggest, the biggest ones. And this is my new super. This is my next Super Bowl. I gotta win this one. Thank you, Sean, for being here. You got it, Bernardo. Saturday, November twentieth, Sean Porter against Terrence Crawford on ESPN Plus exclusively. Sean Porter, the definition of nothing given, everything earned.